Hey friends! Uh, last time I talked to you was Monday. It is now Thursday. I, um, in that time, I found a moving company that has a one price hourly move, includes all taxes, extra fees, blah, blah, blah. So it doesn't have any of the add on. Oh, we'll see how much this takes. We'll see how much that takes. No. Hourly, here's the price. Um, so hooray for finding them. I thought I was going to pack Tuesday and Wednesday, but Mr. Potato Boy has a cold. What is going on? But my potato boy has a cold, so he had to stay home Tuesday and Wednesday just to be super safe. All the babies in his room, there's only three, um, got runny noses, and they were all out of school yesterday. So they cleaned up the classroom, blah, blah, blah. Great. Um, he's back in two days. So now I've got all these boxes. I bought, I bought a bunch at Ikea because they had pretty good prices. Their medium-sized boxes are $2.50 each. And my friend, um, I think I mentioned last time, gave me a bunch of boxes, which is really nice. So now I'm just packing up my mess. <laughs> I have filled up my car to the brim. Um, I mean, I can still see out of all the windows. It's not all the way up to the top. Um, but Saturday, which is two days from now, is when I can start bringing stuff over. So I'm gonna completely... Sorry, I keep losing my light here. I need to figure out this new camera, but I'm gonna completely unload what I currently have in my car on Saturday and then come back and pick up a bunch more. And I'm gonna try and move as much as possible um, so that I can cut down on my costs for the moving company um, on, what day did I say? On the 15th. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm gonna go out and take more stuff out to my car. Actually, there's a tiny little space that I can fill in with more stuff and I will be back. Okay, already in the new place. Um, if you haven't seen it already, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna post the walkthrough before or after I post this series, but um, it is December 11th, so it's Friday. I started this vlog on a Monday. Um, I'm already baby proofing, so I've already gone ahead and put the little protectors over all the sockets. I think I maybe have like two that aren't protected, but I'm going to be moving things in that have plugs, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I put some doorknob handles or, you know, baby proofing handles on some of the doorknobs. Like this is the one to the bathroom. I tried to do these baby gates and I bought them because they said they were wider off of Amazon. Mistake, mistake, mistake. They do not fit. I'm going to return both of them, get my money back and then probably go to Bye Bye Baby or something and get actual gates that fit. Uh, so how many car loads? I brought over two car loads of stuff today. Um, I've already started putting things away, like I brought kitchen stuff over because I have storage for them. So I put some of the kitchen stuff in here and all the hanging clothes. I packed in suitcases and brought those over so that I can bring the suitcases back and get more clothes, wheel them out. That'll be easy for me um, because I don't have a parking space at my old place. It's really hard to... Um, it is really hard to load stuff into my car because I have to bring it down from the fourth floor and then get it to my car. So I was bringing some stuff over to the new place and uh, I had a really heavy box. It wasn't heavy, it was just long and awkward. And like this Amazon driver who was delivering to someone else stopped me and was like, can I help you? I was like, yes, please. And helped me walk the block to the van to put it in. I just have small arms with a big box, but he helped and that was really nice. So um, yeah, so while I'm here, let me show you, this is the paperwork that I have to do. Let me make sure it doesn't have our name on it or anything, but it's the family floor plan. Basically, I have to draw out the entire apartment and then put measurements for all of it so they know what the measurements are. I don't know why. Maybe to make sure there's enough space for the both of us or all of us. Um, I was going to do that um, just now, but uh, the day has already gotten away from me. I'm proud. I got two really big van loads of stuff over here. So um, good for me. Good job, Ange. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go pick up the baby from daycare and tomorrow I will be, I'll probably be loading more stuff in the car, but also going to get a new baby gate and um, measuring the apartment. And I'm gonna measure the furniture that I am bringing and tape off sections on the floor with painter's tape of where I want that to go. So that'll help me like visualize where everything should go. Good morning. As you can see, Mr. Potato Boy is sitting behind me in the carrier. I'm gonna lower it here so you can't see his face. Um, I never gave you a tour of this place because it was always packed with junk. 
Um, and uh, it still is packed with junk, except for now it's everywhere because I'm moving. Um, the movers are gonna be here on Tuesday. Today is Saturday, December 12th. The movers are coming on the 15th, but until then I'm trying to get as much as possible over to the new place by myself. Um, and probably with the help of a few friends tomorrow, which will be great. Um, but today I've strapped him on my back. I'm gonna take a bunch of stuff down to the van. Um, as you saw in the previous video, the baby gates that I got from Bye Bye Baby Online um, were not as advertised, or maybe I just wasn't reading right. But anyway, I need to return them and get ones that actually fit <laughs> because I don't want this baby falling down the stairs. So I'm trying to pack as much in my car as I can right now, and then I will, um, what are you doing back there? And then I will uh, go get the old baby gates to return, get new baby gates, and go from there. Alrighty. <laughs> My tiny pal, and I just um, finished unloading one van load. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to unload, he's still back there. I'm trying to unload and unpack as much as I can on that load so that I don't have to unpack it later. So it's taking me a little longer than if I was just say to dump it all in the entryway and then leave and go get more. So what I did was <laughs> dumped a bunch in the entryway, <laughs> don't get me wrong, brought a bunch upstairs, packed up the old baby gates, and um, now I'm gonna change his diaper. We're gonna head to Bye Bye Baby so that I can get baby gates that actually work. Morning, friends. It is Sunday morning, December 13th. It is about 6.50 a.m., I think. My little guy woke up at like, I don't know, 5.30, 5.45, and I figured why not throw a bunch of junk in the trunk and do a drop off. Later today, my friends Tim and Malgosha are gonna come and help me move two more loads in their car and in my car. And it, like when I walk in, it looks like nothing has been moved, nothing. But when I really look around, it's like, okay, maybe I moved a little bit. Buster's over here um, playing with his wipes. How you doing? As you can see. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop off for some coffee first because my hair pretty much explains how the rest of me is feeling. Um, and then we'll get going. Hey friends, um, I'm coming to you from the future. I'm shooting this update from my phone rather than my camera because my camera battery is dead and I want to get this video uploaded. Please excuse the messy top to my bookcase. Um, it is 2020, it is 2021 and we've lived here for a while now. I didn't shoot the rest of my move because it got really hectic, balancing the baby and the movers and all, but my friends Tim and Malgosha did come and they helped me out so much. Um, they helped me unpack some of the boxes that before the movers came, they helped me, um, or they didn't help me, Tim installed the baby gates, which you can see back there. Buster's not here, else it would be closed. And he anchored all of my bookshelves to the wall and um, Malgosha helped me unpack. Oh, and they built my dining room table and chairs. They were amazing. Buster was being incredibly clingy that night and would not let me put him down. And he loves hanging, he, like, we had just um, gone and looked at an apartment with um, the two of them and uh, he'd interacted with them then. So like, I don't know why he was being super clingy. Probably because it was a new space, like, some of our stuff was here, but not all of our stuff was here, and he was very confused um, because he'd lived in the other apartment his entire life. So anyway, uh, then the next, within the next couple days, the movers came. They were fabulous. Um, they moved things really quickly and gently. Nothing was broken. Um, I ended up unpacking most of the boxes pretty quickly because I wanted to get the house inspected, like safety inspected for foster care. Um, and... Uh, I did that super quickly. I think it was right after the holidays that I got that done, or was it before? No, it was right before. Um, and yeah, so everything was pretty effortless. I still have a bunch of stuff in the garage that I need to unpack and sell or give away on Facebook Marketplace or the LA Kids Consignment Sale or somewhere. But um, we're here, we love it. I'm gonna try and catch up videos so that I can get to where I am. We have a new guest. I'll just leave it at that for now. Uh, hopefully in the next couple days, you'll learn who he is. Um, he's real cute. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for joining. If you haven't already, please subscribe. 
it shows us that you're watching it costs you absolutely nothing hit the little bell and it'll give you a notification every time we post new content and please join us on instagram and facebook at angela d vlogs um and we'll see you in the next vlog bye